Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY Raspberry Pi cooling system. So this is the Raspberry Pi 2B. Um, so it has two heat sinks. Uh, you can just get them off Amazon for pretty cheap if you just look up Raspberry Pi heat sink. Um, got a 16 gigabyte micro SD along with a Smart Pi case, which was on Kickstarter. A little while back and here also we have this cheap laptop cooler um, that just has one of the original micro USB cables to charge it um, and I'll have a link in the description on where you can get one of these okay so I had trouble getting this case open and so eventually I just decided to break it open with a screwdriver and some pliers so here you can just see me breaking open the plastic I'm sure there's a way you can uh, get get it open besides this but I wasn't I was kind of just wanting to get it open real easy so uh, in the end the power core just came right out and it was real easy so I began to unscrew both of the fans from the case. There were two screws in each fan and once I had gotten those they came right off. So I tried to plug the USB directly into the Pi and that didn't work. I tried plugging it into um, a USB uh, adapter for an AC but uh, that didn't work either, so I eventually just plugged it. I found a cord that plugs directly into oh, um, the wall. Um, I'm sure that if you bought this on Amazon, you would get the cord that came with it. I, of course, bought this at a thrift shop. I'm back now. I got the Lego case in. I'm now going to plug the Pi in. I have the HDMI plugged in. I have the fan plugged in right here. I have um, the power to the Pi plugged in. And you'll be able to see now that it is booting up. Okay, so as you can see, the CPU is running at 100% capabilities. We have, um, if we go over to preferences, we can find that um, the CPU is overclocked to the higher setting. You only have two overclock settings. You can have no overclock and a high overclock of just one gigahertz, um, which is not too crazy. Uh, it does have a slight GPU overclock, um, but I have done. I've already run some tests on it. It runs, um, it runs perfectly, never gets above room temperature, stays perfectly cool. I've tested it for color, even just two minutes without the fan, and it got to the point where you could probably cook food on it. Like, it burnt me when I touched it. So, I would say that this project was a success. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.